Hey guys, it's Brooke, and I'm back with another video for you guys today, and it is almost Halloween. I am super excited. So, today we are going to be making a Halloween craft, which, oh, so exciting. I love Halloween. So, for today's craft, we are going to be using this wooden pumpkin. It already has something on it, but we are going to be covering this up, so it doesn't really matter what is on the front. So, you can make this yourself, but... I'm not that talented, so I could not do that. So just this wooden pumpkin, some glue, but I'll be using some this Elmer's tape runner. Some you're going to be needing scissors, a pencil, some like string. You don't have to use that; that's optional. And then I also have some sequins, some little like pom poms, I guess. I like the pom poms. I have some washi tape. Well, I call it washing tape, but my aunt Jill calls it washi tape. So we're just going to say washi tape. Um, so I'm going to be using some buttons. And we're also going to be needing some paper. And I thought this looks like Halloween colors. So, yeah. The first thing we are going to be doing is putting this pumpkin on the white side. So then we can see the pencil marks. And we're going to just set it down. But we don't want it, comp I don't want it in the complete middle. I'm going to try to come over to the corner so we can use the rest of this paper. So I'm just going to put it there and hold it down, then just trace it. So we are done tracing that, and I think I did a pretty good job. I don't know if you can see that, but I think I did a pretty good job tracing that. So we trace that. Now we are going to cut this out. I like to cut a little bit outside of the line that I drew, not exactly on the line. Because then if I mess up, then I can at least trim it down or something. And it's not too short. Because I'd rather it be too long than too short and not fit. And for this part, I'm actually going to be using glue stick. I said I wasn't, but I'd rather not use all the tape runner when I could just glue it on. So I'm just going to put glue all over this pumpkin. Now it's literally purple. And now, we're going to put this on. And I'm going to start with the stem to make sure that this is even. And then if you mess up when it's still wet, you can still slide it around a little bit. Do that. There you go. And all kids out there, if I can do this, you can do this. <laughs> I'm just saying because I'm proud of myself. Back on topic. So, we glued this down. Now, I'm going to be adding eyes and maybe a nose. I'm still debating. And a mouth. So, we're going to get right on into that. Make sure we close our glue stick. So, I'm going to start working on the eyes. So, I'm going to be using some buttons for the eyes because it's very exciting. Ooh. And I'm going to use this big button for one of the eyes. But I'm going to stack up some buttons because... It's a lot more exciting if I put some more buttons on it. You guys do not have to do this. It's just me. So I'm just going to stack up three buttons. I'm going to use this gray, this like clear, and this like pinkish color I'm pretty sure. Or this green. And that. I'm actually going to be using yellow. Yellow. Yellow it is. And then I'm going to be taking some of this yarn. And I'm just going to cut some of this. I'm pretty sure this is yarn. But I'm not very sure. And I'm just going to put it through one of the holes at the bottom. And then I'm going to put the other end through the other hole. This one only has two. Some of yours might have four, but you don't have to put it through both of them. So look at that. So just like that. Then we're going to do the same thing for the next one. But probably... The diagonal one. Sorry, I had to wait there because we had to get it through. So. Yes! Four years later. Holla! Okay. So I got that through. And now the other diagonal. So this one has four. So I put... Let me try to find a super big one so I could have an example. So these I have four holes. I do not know... You can see this before holes, and I put one in the one on this side and the one on this side. So it could be diagonal, and then I pulled the string through 
those. So I'm just going to be have them tied. And I'm just going to tie a little bow. Those are just how you do these. Okay. And boom! One eye done. And that's a that's a record. That's a wrap. Bye everybody. Just kidding, we are not done. So now we're going to be making the next eye. We're trying to make it go a lot faster. Faster than the last time. So I'm going to be taking my snail. Why am I talking weird? Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm going to be taking the snail and I'm going to place it down on this button and put a little bit of glue. This one's short. And then I'm going to put this other button on top. But dang. This thing works great. It's already like sticking. Oh, that's cool. There go. But now I'm deciding. Oh, might use one of these black Hong Kongs. It's like Halloween creepiness. Well, I'm using this black one. No, I'll use that for the nose. I'm actually going to be using this next little yellow one that I was going to be using in the beginning. I'm finally going to be using it. Put a little bit of that. Place it on top of the, the next button. I cannot make it up in my mind. So yeah, this one's just normal. So now we have two eyes. Oh my gosh. Maybe we should put these eyes on. So. There are two different sizes because they do not have to be the same. You guys can make them the same. So I'm just going to take this tape runner and put a little cross right there and put the eye down. Place. And then the same thing for the other one. Okay. Place it there. Boom. Trying to replace them again. Two eyes on our pumpkin. Now I'm going to be adding a nose. And I'm going to be using another button and a little fluff ball thing. Little fluff. So I'm just going to be placing this, oh, this button down right there. And I'm going to be putting a little bit of the snail glue on top. And then, wait, oops. So the snail glue on top and then place this button. Maybe I should use a white. Yes, placing this white pom pom. You guys can make yours look yes. pretty. Like that so far. So cute. I love it so far. And now we're going to be making a mouth. Ooh. I'm going to be using this paper. And I'm just going to be drawing out the mouth. I don't want it too big. And again, on the white side. Oh, that worked out pretty well. So yeah, but I'm not going to be using that side. I'm going to be using the white side. So I'm just going to be using my snail and I'm going to put it there. Not, it's not snail, tape runner. I call it a snail, I'm weird, I'm sorry. Oh, forgot to put this corner. So then we have our mouth, but I might add a little bit extra stuff to it because I might add some sequins. Yes, I'm just going to put a little bit of the snail and add some sequins. sequins. So there we go, our pumpkin. Ah, but don't worry, we're not done, mm -mm, people. This is what it looks like while we're waiting. We're not done yet. We're going to be taking. So my, this, you guys don't have to, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep on going. I just did like that like bow sort of, and then that's how I did that. Thinking of what else I could add, but I don't want to be beautiful. Beautiful. So, yes. This is our finished product, everybody. I think it turned out pretty well and it didn't take very long which is good and I could also put it for like the core I guess 
you do not have to add any of the sequins and pom poms. You do not, just remember, you don't have to follow the exact process of the way that I did this. And yeah. So I just think it turned out very well. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure you check out our blog every day for tips, crafts, maybe some recipes, and a lot of fun stuff. So, yes, thanks for watching. Bye, see you next time. Hey, don't go yet. I have a couple more things to say. So, I added more sequins in the mouth because I thought there was a little bit too much white and it needed a little bit more. So, here's the finished product up close. Here's the mouth, the nose, the eyes, and then the little ribbon on top. And thanks to Lisa for recommending this video. I really enjoyed making this craft. It was so much fun, so thanks for recommending it. And so, bye now guys. See you next time. Bye.